We're at Lesson 11.3a and we're going to talk about the volume of pyramids. We're up to six previous videos for Chapter 11, all about volume of prisms and cylinders. And if you've missed any, you can just click on the description and watch them in the geometry playlist. The volume of a pyramid is related to the volume of a prism with the same base and height. And this relationship can be verified by dividing a cube into three congruent square pyramids. So here we have a cube and split into three congruent square pyramids. We have this reddish one down here. Then above it would be this bluish one. And then we've got in the back here, it would be the back pyramid. It would be this green one, see? These three pyramids are congruent, so they have the same volume. And here we have a net of one of these pyramids. It's an unfolded pyramid. And three of these will form a cube. So I actually made three of these, one with a red base or pinkish base, one with a blue base, and one with this lime green base. And I taped them together and I got this. Here's the one with the blue base. Here's the one with the reddish base or pinkish base. And here's the one with the lime green base. And if I put these together, they're all identical. If I put these together, I can make a cube. All we have to do is put them like this and then put this one here, and look, I made a cube. See? Isn't that something? So we have three congruent square pyramids that have the same volume that make that cube. So for your notes, the volume of a pyramid with base area B, that would be down here, this would be a square pyramid because the base is a square, and height H is V equals one-third the base times the height. So the volume is a third of the base times the height. We can find the volume of a rectangular pyramid with a length of seven feet and a width of nine feet and a height of 12 feet. So if it's a rectangular pyramid, the base is a rectangle. Our volume formula is V equals one-third B to H, so it's base times height. So we can do the length times the width, that's the seven times the nine, and we multiply it by the height. This would represent the base. We get one-third times 756. We could also do 756 divided by three, couldn't we? We get 252 feet cubed for that rectangular pyramid. We can find the volume of a square pyramid with a base side length of four inches. If it's a square pyramid, the base is a square, so all the sides are the same length. It's got a height of six inches. The base would be the side squared, wouldn't it? So it'd be four times four, that would be a 16. Our height is six. We multiply that and get one third times 96 or 32 inches cubed. Now we also could have solved it by reducing by three, this one third and this six, we can cancel them out and we'll remove the fraction and that six will become a two. Then we have 16 times two, which is 32 inches cubed. Either way, same answer. We can find the volume of a trapezoidal pyramid with base A, B, C, D, where segment AB is parallel to segment CD, and AE, that's from here to here, is perpendicular to plane ABC. So if this was sitting on this yellow base, and we flipped it so that this was in the air, and this was sitting on the table, this would be perpendicular to this base, okay? So the first thing we do is find the area of the trapezoidal base. 
We learned how to find the area of a trapezoid back in video 10.1c. And the formula for the area of a trapezoid is half times base sub 1 plus base sub 2 times the height. So that would be half times this 9 for AB plus this 18 for segment CD multiplied by the height 6 right here. 9 plus 18 times 6 is 162. Half times 162, we could also do 162 divided by 2, gives us 81 meters squared. So we know the area of this trapezoid is 81 meters squared. Now that we have that out of the way, we can do the formula for the volume. So the second thing we do is use the base area and the height to find the volume. Now because AE the segment AE is perpendicular to plane ABC, this yellow part. Segment AE is the altitude. So the height of the pyramid is equal to segment AE. So that means this is 10 meters, the height is 10 meters. For the volume of a pyramid, we have V equals 1 third BH for 1 third times the base times the height. If our base was 81 meters, we found, and our height is 10, that means we have 1 third times 810. We could also, instead of multiplying by a third, divide by 3, couldn't we? We get 270 meters cubed for the volume of this trapezoidal pyramid. Now another way we can look at this to solve it is when we were at the 1 third times 81 times 10, for the one-third times base times height up here. We could have canceled out this 3 and that 81 and reduced the numbers by the 3. And we would have had 27 times 10 because 81 divided by 3 is 27. And that would have still given us 270 meters cubed. You want to do a little quicker math that way. Moody Gardens is an educational tourist destination in Galveston, Texas, where visitors can learn about conservation and wildlife, even endangered species. And they have three pyramid attractions. One's the Aquarium Pyramid, one's the Discovery Pyramid, and they have the Rainforest Pyramid. That's this one. And there'll be a link in the description if you want to know more about this destination, this tourist destination in Texas. And the Rainforest Pyramid is a square pyramid with a base area of about one acre and a height of 10 stories. We can estimate its volume in cubic yards and in cubic feet. So to help us, we know it's giving us that one acre is equal to 4,840 yards square and one story is about 10 feet. So with this information and this information, it'll help us solve it. So its base is a square of about 4,840 yards square, and the base edge is going to be the square root of 4,840. And that's going to be equal to this nice long decimal, 69.57. So we're going to say it's approximately 70 yards. The height, we know one story is 10 feet, and it's 10 stories tall, so that's 10 times 10. That's 100, which, because that's feet and we're doing yards, there's three feet in a yard. That means we've got approximately 33 yards. It's like 33 and a third yards, right? So we're going to do approximately 33 yards. Now we find the volume in cubic yards. Our formula for the volume of a pyramid is V equals one third BH. So it's one third times the base times the height. We found the base side was 70. So 70 yards, so we do 70 times 70 for the base, because it's a square, that's going to give us 4,900. And our height, we found, was about 33 yards. So we do 1 third times 4,900 times 33. Well, the 4,900 times 33 comes out to 161,700. And instead of multiplying it by a third, we could divide it by 3, can't we? We get 53,900 yards cubed. So that's its volume in cubic yards. Now, we could also have solved this by reducing it by 3. We got a 33 here and a 3. We can cancel these out 
and we would just have a 4,900 times 11, which is also 53,900 yards cubed. But we still need to do it in feet, cubic feet. So we've found that the volume of the rainforest pyramid in Texas is 53,900 yards cubed. Converting this to cubic feet, the volume of one cubic yard, because there's three feet in a yard, would be three feet by three feet by three feet. We multiply three times three times three, and we get 27 feet cubed. We can use the conversion factor. It would be the quotient of 27 feet cubed and one yard cubed to find its volume in cubic feet. We multiply our volume in cubic yards times this conversion factor. We're going to get approximately 1,455,300 feet cubed. So now we know it in cubic yards and in cubic feet. We can find the volume of a regular hexagonal pyramid with its height equal to the apothem of its base. So we can see this side is 12 inches right here. And it's a hexagon, and it's regular, so all the sides are the same. We would use the base is equal to half times the apothem times the perimeter. We did that in video lesson 10.2c. The hexagon can be divided into six equilateral triangles with side length 12 inches. And by the 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle sum theorem, which we learned about in 5.8b, the apothem is going to be 6 square root of 3. Half of this, 12 inches, would be 6. And the apothem, this red line here, from the center perpendicular to the side, would be 6 square root of 3. And the perimeter is 6 times 12. We have six sides, so that's going to be 72 inches. So now we know our perimeter is 72 inches, and we know our apothem is 6 square root of 3, which is going to also be our height. To find the base, we do the base is equal to half times the apothem times the perimeter. We now know the apothem is 6 square root of 3. We know the perimeter is a 72. We can reduce the numbers with the 2. Cancel out this 2 and that 6, and we get 3 square root of 3 times 72, which is approximately, when we multiply the 3 times the 72, 216 square root of 3, which on our trusty calculators will give this nice long decimal, which we can round to approximately 374 inches squared. Okay? It's a base, so it's squared. Now, we use the volume formula for a pyramid, one-third base times height, and we know the base is approximately 374, and the height was the apothem, that was 6 square root of 3, right here. It was the same as the apothem. We can reduce the numbers with the 3. We cancel out this 3 and that 6, and we get this 374 times 2 square root of 3. We multiply the 2 and the 374, we get 748 square root of 3. And our trusty calculators, we get approximately 1,295.574, which can be rounded to approximately 1,296 inches cubed for the volume of our hexagonal, regular hexagonal pyramid. Our next lesson is going to be the volume of cones. It's going to be the second part of 11.3 is 11.3b. Then the third part of 11.3 is going to be cube roots. I know it can be hard to remember previous lessons, so that's why I like to put the links in the description. So if you forget about doing the area of an, a hexagon or doing the apothem, or the area of a trapezoid, all those links are going to be in the description to help you, okay? Give you a real quick review, scan it over, hopefully you'll say, oh, I remember how, and then you'll be able to do these because you need that information in order to do the volume of pyramids, all right? I hope you have a great day, and like always, I hope you're doing well. Keep trying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.